What's up, it's Andy with Channel Empire here, and today's video is a PicMonkey tutorial. It's how to create your custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Now PicMonkey is a free online photo editor and it's what I use to create all my custom YouTube thumbnails. Uh, and I will put the link in the description below. So if you click that link, that'll take you to PicMonkey's website uh, where you can start creating your custom thumbnails. So here's the PicMonkey tutorial. On the home screen, you have options at the top. If you go to the edit, you can actually choose a picture from your computer and start out with that. But I like to go to the design option and then you click custom and do 1280 by 720 and then click make it. Okay, that'll, that'll create the base custom thumbnail that you that you need for uh, YouTube's uh, dimensions. So uh, here, the left side is where you're gonna be making all the edits. So here, it starts off with the basic edits. I'm just gonna change the canvas color to an orange. That's what I want this thumbnail to be. I want it to be based on the orange color. Uh, you got a couple other basic edits. Now, if we click on the effects option here, the little wand, you can see it's got a whole bunch of effects that you can add to your thumbnail or your picture, whatever you're editing. Uh, so here we got the dark edges effect and you can change the size of the dark edges, the intensity, um, you can do, you can change the color of it. Uh, so you can get creative with this, just whatever think, whatever you think looks best in your own eyes or uh, the only thing that we're trying to do with this thumbnail is make it eye-catching. We're trying to make it eye-catching and, and relevant to what the video is about. So it has a whole bunch of list of features um, if you see this crown icon over here, then that means it's a premium feature and it's only available for Royale members. And to be a Royale member, it costs like $33 a year. So you can do that if you want to get unlock these uh, certain features with the crown icon. So let's add some bokeh shapes uh, to the background just to make it a little more eye catching and stand out a bit more and click apply if you want to apply the effect to your photo. Now let's go to the text box, the text area, and we'll add some text to our photo. So click on a font and then click add text and it'll add a text box to the thumbnail. And you can type in your text and you can move it around. You can make it bigger. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff to edit, edit it and customize it to your liking. And you got the text box that pops up where you do the customization the, and the color editing and uh, just make it stand out as much as possible. So I'm going to do this white text on the orange background. And you can actually use your own fonts too. If you want to use your own fonts that are on your computer, uh, you can use the, the fonts that PicMonkey offers or your own. So that's pretty cool. I like uh, being able to use my own font. So let's add another text box here. And it's going to say tutorial. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger change the color, maybe change the font, and you can change the font as long as the box text box is selected, you can go over to the left and just click on different fonts to change the font with that text box selected. So that's, um, let's make it a little, let's center it. Okay, that looks uh, kind of good right now. Now let's um, let's go over there and show, I just wanna show you how to add icons and, and other pictures to the picture, the photo. So if you go to iconarchive.com, that's a free website where you can find icons. And I want to find a monkey icon. So I searched monkey and here we go. I got a monkey icon that I can put on the photo. So I'll just save this to my computer and then go back to pick monkey and add it by going to the butterfly icon, which is the overlay section, and then go up and click on your own. And then I can browse to that monkey that I just downloaded. And you can do this for any photo. So if you already have a photo or like a, a screenshot of your video, you can do this. You can add any photo on top of the, the pick monkey picture that you're editing, the thumbnail. So let's uh, customize this monkey just a little bit. Um, he looks good with a, with a black outline there. Uh, let's look at some other overlays. Um, pick monkey offers a whole bunch of different overlays itself within PicMonkey. So you might be able to find all your icons and stuff here within PicMonkey if you're lucky. I, I, I don't see a monkey in here. So, but um, yeah, you can go down here and just see a bunch of the different options that you have. I mean, it's just, it's a ton of options. That's why I like, I like PicMonkey. Uh, and labels are a fun thing to use. And I'll show you, uh, I'll show you how to use labels and how you can customize it uh, so let's say if you click on this little square with the dots, you can add it to your picture and make it bigger. And I want to put this around the monkey and let's, um, let's do some editing for it. I just want to show you some of the editing controls that you have. So if you have something selected, it has an eraser tab 
And if you click on the eraser tab, you can actually erase part of the, the photo. So this works on any overlay. So let's say if you have a picture of yourself that you uploaded and added to this photo, you can actually use this eraser uh, control to remove the background. So if you want to re remove the background of any picture, you can use that tool to do that. And you can um, use uh, the marker tool to bring that the back. Uh, if you if you erase something that you didn't want to erase, you can bring that back. So you have an undo button at the top. Let's hit that undo button. And I don't want this on here. Uh, I'm just going to delete it. So uh, let's put some sunglasses on this monkey. As you can see, just I'm just got a ton of different features that you can do to make you to make your uh, custom thumbnail look uh, as as eye catching and, and interesting as possible. So uh, let's show you the banners. Let's say if I grab this banner and drag it over here, and I want to put this banner behind the text. We well, see it's on top of the text. All you have to do is right click on uh, objects, right click on it, and then uh, you got options to send to back. So if you click send to back, it'll put put it behind that text. It'll send it all the way to the back. And then uh, if you have two objects on top of each other, use the right click in PicMonkey. So that's just a useful tip if you're editing in PicMonkey. Use the right click uh, when you have like objects on uh, stacked on top of each other, like I have my text on top of this banner, because it's hard to choose get the right uh, object selected. So use that right click uh, and that'll help you out. So let's go over to the textures uh, and just, I'll show you some of the stuff that you can add and, and to your picture to make it more, uh, this is kind of trippy and psychedelic, but um, whatever you want, just don't make it too crazy. Um, but as long as you can make it stand out more, that's better, but just don't make it too crazy. I don't really like the way any of these look, but it does. I mean, it looks kind of cool. Uh, I'm not going to do it, but just to show you some of the stuff that you can do with these effects. Um, so let's go to, let me edit this. Yeah, there we go. Make that a dark blue. Make the banner dark blue. And here's some bokeh effects that we can add to it. I'm just trying to make it stand out just a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I'm going to add any of this bokeh to it's just kind of distorting my text a little bit um and you can play around with the saturation and the fade just to get it see if you like it i'll cancel out of that uh let's try the light burst light bursts are popular for youtube thumbnails you've probably seen them around a lot on youtube thumbnails uh those that light burst effect um yeah i don't really use it that much but this kind of looks good i might use that there there we go that looks good just turn the fade down just a little bit and there we go. That looks good. I'll apply that. And one more thing. Let's go to the uh, back to the effects, and I'll show you the draw feature. If you click on draw, you can actually uh, draw a little background, a little marker effect background behind the text. So I'm going to draw a background behind the word tutorial. Uh, so I'm going to pick my color and make the hardness all the way to the left so it's fuzzy. And we're just going to paint... Like, uh, like if you played Mar like if you say, uh, you've played Mario paint back in the day on N Nintendo, this is, uh, where that training will come into play. So just, yeah, just draw behind that text and you can use the eraser tool, the, the function over here and erase some of the stuff that you do. If you actually get, get, get a little too crazy with that, you can erase it and get it just right. And I think that looks good. I think that's going to be my final picture. So once you're ready, you can go up to the top and click save and that'll save it to your computer and over to the left choose your quality the one on the far right is the best quality uh, and then you go up to the file name and name it i usually just name it whatever my youtube video is going to be titled and hit save to my computer and then save it to any folder that i like and it'll say masterpiece save that mean it that means that it has saved to your computer and then open it up and make sure it looks good that looks good I think I'm going to use that. So go back to your YouTube video on your YouTube channel uh, and click the edit. So you're in the edit of your YouTube video and then just click the custom thumbnail button on the bottom right there and choose your picture and then click open, add and save it. And there you go. You now have a custom thumbnail for your YouTube video using PicMonkey. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also check out channelempire.com slash VIP or click the ebook on your screen right now to join the Channel Empire VIP email club and get your free ebook, the top five steps to profit from YouTube. I hope to see you guys around and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.